So I'm back from my little trip. It was very nice to get away for a week, get some warm weather. Um, and uh, I got to use those three lenses that my last video talked about, where it was the uh, Canon 11 to 22. I made a mistake in that last video, called an 11 to 16. It's 11 to 22. Sigma's 56 millimeter 1.4, which was an amazing lens, and the Seven Artisans Fisheye, which I had a lot of fun with. So after today's video, I'm going to get into those a little bit. But today I wanted to talk about um, some more editing. Some of you really seem to like the video I did about editing a few weeks back. So I'm going to jump right in here and I'm going to talk about one of the tools in Lightroom that I think is underused and can really change your images a lot. It's not something you're going to use all the time, but you should know how to use it. And by the way, once you get out of the basic panel and you start learning how to use all the targeted tools like the adjustment brush, the radial filter, the graduated filter, it's going to change your photography. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of little techniques that you can do with the radial filter. Now the radial filter is a circular filter that can be adjusted, moved around. You can have 20 of them on one image, it doesn't matter, and you have all all of the controls that you have inside of your basic panel. So you can adjust inside your mask as much as you want with all the different tools. So I'm going to give you a few different examples here. I'm going to try to keep it quick and just give you some ways that I use it and then maybe this will help you in your editing. And uh, sometimes you get stuck in an image and you're not really sure how to fix something. It's very hard to use the adjustment brush sometimes. What's great about the radial filter is it's a very graduated adjustment and you can control how much of the uh, feather there is in it. So you can really, uh, you know, tailor it to exactly what you're doing. All right, so let's jump into the computer here. The first image is going to be a landscape image, and the second is going to be a picture of my wife. I'm going to show you how you can use this filter on both of them. Okay, so we're in Lightroom here, and as you can see, I have a landscape image. Now, I didn't do any major edits to it. Uh, if you look here, I just did some basic adjustments. I raised the exposure, the shadows, the whites and the blacks, just try to get it to where I want to be. There are a couple of spots in here where I would like to, you know, make some changes. So how I would use the radio filter here is I'm going to open the tool. And now the way you use it is you just kind of click down on your mouse and pull. And as you can see, you can change the size of it as long as you have your mouse held down. So what I want to do is there's a little bit of a hot spot here in the, in the water. I want to bring down the exposure there. There's two ways that this filter works. You can, as you can see, if I hold my mouse over here, it shows you where the adjustment is. Now I can either work inside of this mask or I can work outside of it. And if you go down here at the bottom of the panel, you can, it says invert. So now if I click this, now I'm working outside. Okay, so if I hold on here, you can see that the outside is where I'm working. And there's also a feather function, so it shows you how much you're using on there so let's see that okay so this shows you where the filter is actually being applied okay but I actually want to work inside this so I'm changing it okay so what I want to do here is I want to bring down the exposure a little bit in this spot and maybe the highlights a little bit here and to me this water looks a little bit blue so what I'd like to do is add a little bit of white balance. I'm going to bring the color temperature up a little. And if I look at my histogram, nothing is really overblown in this image right now, but the water looks a little dull, so I'm going to raise my whites. And I think that's pretty good right there. Okay, so that's one adjustment I made with the radial filter on this image. Now I can click here, and I'm going to create another one. Now another way that I like to use the radio filter is I like to add the sun. So some images um, lend themselves to this more than others. Now this has got a nice fall you know, type of vibe to it and the sun actually wasn't behind these trees right here but I'm going to make it look like it is. And this is a nice little technique that you can use. Just raise up your exposure and I also kick up my white balance to make it look a little more orange and red. All right, so let's see. And then you can play with this as much as you want. You know, you can make it super bright, you know, like that, or you can bring it down. I try not to make it super obvious. Now, there are other ways you can use it inside of a landscape photo like this, and you can use it to bring up exposure in little parts of the image, and it's a very even way to do it. So I'm going to show you a couple of ways that I would do this, like on the rocks and some of the darker parts of the image. So I'm going to click New again, and over here it's a little bit dark. So now remember, once this is 
here. I can move it around. I can also turn it if I want it to be angled properly. And now I can do what I want here. So I can raise the exposure up here. I can add some clarity to give the rock some grittiness. If I wanted to make it a little more yellow, maybe the sun's hitting it. I can kick up the white balance in that spot. Now let's say I like the way this looks and I want to apply it somewhere else. If I right click on this, I can duplicate it. Okay, and then I can move it. So the one, my original one stays there and now I can move this around. I can duplicate it again. And I can move it over here. You know, let's say I want to put a little light right there. Okay, and let's say this one here I want it to make a little brighter. So I can I can open it up, move it around a little bit. Maybe this one's a little darker. I want to open up the shadows in here. So let's turn this off and see what the difference is. So it's subtle. But that's just me. So that's the way I like to edit. And really the image is going to determine what you do with it. But once you wrap your head around these tools and, and how you can get so specific in where you want to make adjustments, it's going to really let you um, change your images quite a bit. And you don't always have to make these big sweeping changes. It's the more subtle uh, adjustments and, and edits that you do that are going to have a, a nicer impact without making your image look over edited. And um, it, it's, a, it's a great tool for that. Now I'm going to jump into a portrait here and show you how I'd use this. This was just a snapshot. I took a picture of my wife. We had just gotten on a cruise ship. And I just wanted to, you know, I was getting the camera out. You always have to warm up a little. And this is just a picture of her standing there. But I want to show you how you can use it in this type of situation also. So here we are on the top deck of the cruise ship. And we got the cat in the hat water area behind her. And I didn't use a flash here. So this was just natural light with the Canon 11 to 22. This is straight out of the camera. So when you look at this, you might say, ah, it looks okay. But there are some things you could do here if you wanted to. Now, you don't have to. Now in the basic panel here, I would open up the shadows a little bit and uh, it looks pretty good. But now with the radial filter, what I can do here, if I wanted to, is I'm going to open this filter up quite a bit and then I'm going to move it kind of over my wife's face and you can, you can press O to see where the adjustment is and I'm going to turn it so it's kind of angled the same way, same way she is. Okay, so now I want to bring the exposure up on my wife's face a little bit. So this is the way it was shot. Okay, I want to bring it up a little bit. And maybe I want to add a little bit of white balance. Just to add a little color into her skin. Okay, now I can leave that alone just like that and I just enhance this image a little bit. But another way to use the radio filter is to create a vignette. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to duplicate this. And I'm going to pull it off to the side a little bit, just so I can see which one I'm working with. Okay, so this is the active pin, this is the other one. This is the original adjustment, and this is the duplicate. So now with this one, I'm going to invert it, so that I'm working on the outside of the circle. Okay, so now if I click on the O button, you can see where this is actually being adjusted. Now here, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change the feather on this. I'm going to bring it down a little bit, so the adjustment isn't on my wife so much. Okay, and I'm going to move it kind of over her face because I don't want that to be affected. So now with these two adjustments, I can work inside and I can work outside of this spot. So let's say we want to work here, okay? Now let's say for some reason I wanted to bring down the saturation behind her. Now her skin tones are going to stay the same. And I brought down the saturation. Let's say I want to kick up the clarity and make this look a little you know, more gritty behind her. But you can see it's not affecting her face at all. So you can get two totally different exposures in one image. You can completely change the look without affecting a person's skin tone or things like that. And this is one of those things that's really great because if you have a landscape image and there's people in it, you may want to create some sort of different look in it, but you want the people to look real. You want them to look normal. So you can mask them out with this and you can then do whatever you want in the background and it's such a gradual transition that sometimes you don't even notice it. And it's a lot easier than trying to paint over a person exactly, which you can do with the adjustment brush. But with the radio filter, a lot of times it's a quick adjustment and then you know you don't have to go too crazy with it. 
So let's say we wanted to go the other way with the exposure here. Okay, let's, uh, let's get this back to the way we had it when we shot it. Okay, we don't need the clarity. We don't want the saturation down. Let's say behind her, I want the exposure to be way up. I want to blow it out. Okay. And I'm going to adjust the feather again. Okay, so we can blow out the background here where she becomes the focal point. And again, her skin is not messed up in any way. So this is something that's fun. It's fun to play around with. You can create so many different looks out of a single image with this tool. So it's, it's a great tool to learn how to use. And um, if you just want to create a simple vignette in an image, it's also uh, the probably the best way to do it. And I'm going to talk about that now. So let's reset this image. Okay, that's the way it was shot out of the camera. So let's say I was... Uh, going to just raise up the exposure here. Okay, try to get everything right without going too crazy. Let's bring down the highlights a little bit. Let's open up the shadows. Whoa, too much. But let's say we wanted to create a vignette around her. Now we can go down to the effects panel and do it here. And it will do that for me. And I can do that. I can create that. Okay, you can do something like that and then you can move it around and adjust it. You can adjust the size you know, how it looks, the shape of it, whether it's round, vertical, okay? But there's, you know, there's all these controls down here that will help you create this. So what I'd rather do is I'd rather add a little exposure, open up the shadows a bit. Okay, now I'm gonna use my radial filter. So here, I'm gonna draw a big circle, okay? And I'm gonna kinda put it over my wife wherever I want it here. And what's great about this is after I draw it, I can still adjust it. I can do whatever I want to it. I can move it around. I can make it smaller. I can turn it. Where with the effects panel, it's a little bit harder to do. So this way, if you have something that's off-centered, you can... Let's invert it. Okay, so now I can pull down around her and now I can see where it is and I can adjust it. So let's see the adjustment here. Okay, I'm gonna adjust the feather. Bring it down. Okay. Now, if you see it, I can move it around. All right, so you can move your vignette however you want to do it. And let's say I don't want it this wide. I can grab the side here, I can turn it, and then I can pull it in. So you can really make really fine adjustments and create any kind of look that you want. Maybe I just want a thin one to kind of go across the image. So it doesn't have to be round. You can do whatever you want with this, you know? So you could do that also. Okay, so there are just some things that you can do with the radio filter. It's a great tool and the, the graduated filter does the very similar things and it's really worth it to get into these tools and, and dig in. And we did a bunch of Lightroom tutorials that I'll put in this video here. It's our playlist for Lightroom and those all have you know all sorts of different tips and tricks and things that you can do there. And uh, I'm gonna put my last um, video I did on Lightroom over here. So if you didn't see that one you can check it out. Okay I'll see you in the next video.